Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Tuesday, March 29th. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we started with a comparison of the voiceless TH in bath and the voiceless F, it's always voiceless, <laughs> in bath. So even though that's not a real word, it's a good practice comparison, keeping everything the same, the B, A, only difference, the, the, the last sound. Bath is a TH, so it's a little between your teeth, and you only hear airflow. Bath. F, the top teeth touch the bottom lip, but you also only hear airflow. So yes, if you had your eyes closed and you weren't looking at what my mouth was doing, you might hear them as exactly the same. Bath. Bath. But in context, in a sentence, you would know which is the real word. Um, career. Career, which is similar to Korea with three syllables. Korea. Thoroughbred, or that O can change to U uh, because it's not stressed. Thoroughbred. Coercion. Make sure you have a good Z. Coercion. Tween. The tongue is very high for the E. Tween. And twin. The tongue is a little lower. Tween. Twin. Tween, twin, 10, 11, <laughs> tween, twin. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, which is why we say mum for short because it's so much easier. And this looks like an A, but it sounds like, a, like an uh. It should be like up, want, want. You don't have to say the T if it's at the end of the sentence or a phrase. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> but... Um, Let's see. There, I need something with a vowel after it. I, I, want, I want all. I want all the money. <laughs> want all. Want all or one doll. But you won't hear the T by itself. What do you, <clears throat> excuse me, what do you want? There. Won't. You keep your lips rounded the whole time. So it sounds like whoa. Won't. I won't go. This word without the apostrophe means something um, you do habitually. So it can be pronounced won't or want, won't or want. This can only be pronounced wand. So the magic wand, wand. Famine, two syllables, famine. Feminine, three syllables, and the vowel is e, eh, fem. Redundant, redundant. Reluctant, reluctant. Reiterate, reiterate. We can't change this re to ra because the next letter is a vowel. So when you add the prefix re to a word that begins with a vowel, you keep the e sound like reinforce, even if that um, first syllable is not the stressed one. Reinforce. This was new to me. I learned that the outer hairs on the coconut are called coir. It's spelled like this, and it could be pronounced with one syllable, but the dictionary had the two syllables as the first one, so that's easier for me. I'll go with that. Coir. Scallion, also known as green onion. Scallion. The vowel is a. Ah, scal. And this one caused a lot of um, practice because it should be two syllables. Series. Series. If you have three syllables, it's a whole different word. Serious. Serious. This is also three syllables. Syria. Syria. Hurl. <laughs> This is like world and girl. It's that your tongue is curled back for the R, moves to the L position. So while you're moving, keep making sound. And that's the earl part. Hurl. Hurl. And hold your tongue in the L position for a little longer so you can hear the L noise. Hurl. <laughs> Which could mean just to throw something, like throw a rock. But it can also mean to vomit. So <laughs> has multiple uses. <laughs> Glorious, glorious, glorious. Reconcile, reconcile. Crucify, crucify. 
And I'm sorry we didn't get to all of these. We, we did spend time, oh, a little bit on crayon or crown. People say both ways. So thanks if you were here. And if not, I hope you can join us next Monday or Tuesday for pronunciation practice or Wednesday for intonation practice. Thanks. Have a good day.